Ewa gamira chomu sangu wa tegumanya nyomba ambi. Watu vako keya babaka wa parame chokuwa mchitu nduwe cha Buganda. Nebu gisu baka lambide. Kuchoku tuwa lechitongu leche mwanyi cha Uganda Coffee Development Authority. Mu ministry ebi obulimi noburunzi nga government we ya gara. Habaka maduba gamba. Nti government okusinga okuta lechitongu lechi imiriza wabula mbuwa abantu. Na daraba abalima no kutunde mwanyi. Wakile chitongo lechi nechikuwa sabantu wabali naka kuate kumwanyi boke njini bachedu kanyize. Akachigo ka parliament akebio bulimi kasinka nyababaka wakufa mbuganda nebugisu kubaga nyebilo wazo kuteka li national coffee bill. Eli teke ba teke buwa kujawe chitongo lechi runga miumtindo we mwanyi mugwanga chiganda coffee development authority. Why do you make a gamble with the sector that is already doing well? Now, government seeks to administer a soil poison to this active and highly productive man called UCBA, and that he will die in three years. During the three years while well, he is the victim of this poison, he will be on his deathbed. Habaka kufa mbuganda, basoso kutegeza kachiko, nche chitongo li government chaya galo kusatulula, chiyambo kuchusobula mbuabantu. Na dala balimi, ateno kusobu umbi wa sente, mchaji che guanga. Habaka balino kutia, ntingo jeko kufiru wakatareke mwanyi, haba ministry yebi obulimi no obulunzi, tebaina bukugubo na. Has other advantages which oil don't give you. For the people to get rich in the oil industry, the government must first be rich. But for coffee, on the day the, the, the coffee price is good, every farmer is happy on go on day one. So it is the people who first get rich before the can, they can, government gets rich. Now I feel bad that the major income, source of income for the unemployed Ugandans is being bundled together with the policy of government of rationalization without any thinking. Ate baba bako kufa mbitundu bie bugisu, echimu kubitundu, ebili memuanyi, bajuki za government. Nsimbi Buganda, nebugisu cooperative, zebali wa mkufuni la Uganda obwe tuwaze. Mbaka wabu dadili west, Nathan Nandela Mafabi. Neba neba gamba, nti waluwe chigendele lwa, echo kunafu ya bani na Uganda. Habani naka kuate kumwanyi, zitandike kuduka njizibu wabantu haba ulubatu. There were only two tribes which contributed to that independence. Bujusu, under Bujusu Coffee Scheme in the Bujusu Cooperative Union, brought 300,000 pounds. Uganda brought 500,000 pounds. We made a total of 800,000 pounds, and the British agreed that these people can sustain themselves. I believe the Uganda got theirs also from their coffee. For us, it was from Bujisu coffee scheme. And if a coffee can bring independence to a country, then it can be able to sustain the country. And if it can sustain the country, it will need a better regulator. We are seeing factories, coffee, factories being established in areas that are well known for not being coffee producers. And we are wondering what is the government after? Habaka wa gamba, nti government buwebele medua kuduka nye chitongo lechino. Echi kwa sabali mi, bache duka nyeze. Habama nyebi omu ndaba gamba, nti akachiko kano katudeku nkato. Nga walu woku sindi kilizibu woku enja ulo. Okulaba angeteka, ilituwala yusidi ministry yebi obulimi. Liisi wa. Shamim Nabakoza, NBS, Hamasenge J.